Good morning. How's everyone today? Uh, bring you another podcast. How to build a small, successful business. Um, we have so many people that are entrepreneurs and want to do something um, different and something that can change their life. And starting a small business is probably the way to go. Um, and there's so many opportunities out there. Uh, you just have to reach out and grab them. All right. The first thing I want to go through is you need to come up with a unique business idea. So if you ever seen Shark Tank, which is a great uh, show, um, these are investors that um, bring a new product in front of um, you know experienced investors, and they decide if they want to you know you know go through based on the you know uniqueness of the product and how it'll do in the market. And you know that's a good example of thinking outside the box. Uh, and you know, as they said with the uh, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, um, when he was uh, coming up with his ideas, it was how can he help you know other people. So basically, um, unique business idea you come up with has to be something that can help other people because all businesses deal with people. And if you think you're not gonna have to deal with people, then you know you definitely can't get into the you know. Is, you know, business at all. So I would say, you know, you know, sit down and write down some ideas and then, you know, see how you can um, change those ideas and and make something different of what's already being used. Something that can make it better. And, you know, it's gonna take time, but it's, it's, a, it's a process and everything's a process. Also, um, you do have to write down like a solid uh, business plan with the goals attached to it. Because everything is with planning. Same thing um, you see in sports. When they're going to play, play another team, they're always planning how to stop the other team. So same thing in business. You're, you're planning, putting ideas together, stringing them up, and you know, making them, you know, work towards your achieving your goal. Because the end goal is to have a productive business that makes you money, and then eventually, hopefully, can be a passive income opportunity. The goal is always to build passive income, which is you do the work now, and then later that money just keeps reoccurring. And you know that's the whole process of business. I mean, you're not, you're not gonna have a business so you can work it 24 seven. But you know, in the, in the start, you might have to put that work in, but later it's gonna pay off and then you're gonna start seeing the seeds of your success. All right, also, you gotta identify and research your audience. What do I mean by that? You gotta um, see what your customers like and don't like and what customers you're gonna start targeting. Are you going to target, you know, uh, you know, certain um, like male or females, certain ages, demographics, certain areas? So you have to know your customer before you can put that product out there. Because you can't just open up any small uh, restaurant without, you know, knowing if you're going to do enough business to sustain it. Same thing, you know, a lot of uh, small businesses. Um, I just saw a crumble open up where I live, and it's uh, it's doing good, you know. But, you know, certain areas, because of the price of that cookie, maybe they're not going to buy as much. So you have to have the right area to get the right customers. That's like, uh, that's something that's going to be really... Um, that you have to put um, a lot of thought into. Also, um, you want to define your brand and create a strong, you know, presence online, which is um, through websites and then offline. So you, when you, you know, like these companies, like uh, say Amazon, Google, you, you um, they do have corporate headquarters, but they. Um, also, very strong online. So, whatever business you do, it's gonna have to be um, 
you don't have to mark a ball, you know. You know, like when they say uh, uh, football, all three phases, you know, um, offense, defense, and special teams, same thing. Um, there's phases to a business, and there's online and there's offline. And you want to make sure you're doing both. Because online, you know, there's um, Uber, DoorDash, uh, Grubhub. So if you're opening some type of food type of business, um, there's going to be plenty of people out there that, you know, will want your food. And, you know, you can get it delivered. There's a big market for it. So make sure you build both. If you're not going to just, um, you know, open up a store but not, you know, look to online because that's, everyone has phones now. And, you know, and if you're marketing um, things on the computer, I guarantee you're gonna, you, you should um, be getting more sales. It's easier online than offline, obviously. When you have the, you know, physical building, it's more work. You have to deal with employees. You gotta deal with, um, and things breaking down, maintenance, it's all, all types of things. So it's, uh, you know, so build both. That's that's the biggest key I want to tell you. Also, uh, you know, you gotta invest in quality things. So you're not gonna open up a business and then start buying, you know, cheapy stuff. It's not gonna work, you know. You, you, you want, you know, you want people to know you for your quality because why would someone you know, um, switch from what they're originally getting and then go to you. If you're gonna give them a cheaper item. And you know, as you always hear that line, it's about quality, not quantity. Same thing with anything in life, it's about quality. You want quality things, because you only live one, so you, you want to enjoy yourself, but you want the, the best of the best and at a, at a reasonable price. So your, your goal is, in this uh, small business, thing, you wanna bring that quality of the item with, you know, with the, um, a, a good price so that you're not overcharging people as well. So you wanna balance both. So they're getting something good for a reasonable price and then um, it's a win-win for both because they'll keep coming back because they're like, this tastes amazing and or this product like this sneaker or shoe or clothing is um, very good quality lasts long and that's how you get repeat customers so this is a step to build that you know that small successful business of yours another thing is the financial support you gotta keep up with uh, expenses so what you spend your money on, hey, you might have to track that because being in business, you have to see what's going out so you can know that if you're if too much is going out, you can see where you're cut. Because uh, every penny counts. Just think of your life as a business. I mean, a lot of things that we do, we, we just don't keep track of all the little pennies that go out of our pockets for, um, you know, like a piece of gum, coffee, you know, all these little things, and it adds up. So you you want to have like maybe something on a computer system, or you can put it in a notebook. But you want to track down what it costs you to even you know buy the product, uh, make it, and then sell it. And you gotta see your profit, because then you'll have to actually adjust the price of what you're selling the item for. So it, it's it's a lot of different steps. It's not just like one thing and then it's voila, you know. So it's a, a lot of little things that you do to get the big things happening. So it's, it's just, you do have to track everything. Also, you, um, networking, which means, uh, you know, talking to other people who are doing similar things. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing, but it would help. You know, you need to, you know, you know, may, you know, meet some people. Some people can even like say you're using one supplier, and then you talk to a few other suppliers. Maybe someone can get you that product or item for cheaper, 
but this way, you know, it just helps your profit margin. So it's just this little something like that, you know, can change your business. You know, same thing when people, they, they'll go Giant, they go Aldi's, they go Wegmans, you know, they're price shopping. They're seeing if they can get the same quality of item for a, a cheaper price or more, or more for less. And same thing in business, you're trying to get a good quality item that you, you're gonna sell or you know or food product that you can sell later for a good profit margin and you know I like I sell uh, things on from Sam's Club on eBay some things from Walmart on eBay and same thing you know I'm buying something that's probably on sale it's good quality item and then I, I flip and, and sell it online to, to someone who doesn't have a Sam's Club near them, who doesn't have a Walmart, or who is like, you know, because there, there are people who are a couple of hours away from certain uh, places. So the only way you get the item is to get it shipped. And that's where, you know, someone like me or, or no entrepreneur comes in and can sell that item. Also, when you do get that business uh, started, you want to continually update everything, you know. Update um, the software you're using. Update, you know, even if you're using a simple notebook, you know, change the way you do things. It's, um, you see like Facebook, they're always having something new. They're always doing something new. So same thing for you. You need to uh, keep on changing to the market because the market doesn't stay the same. It changes. People don't stay the same, they change. So what was good today is not good tomorrow. So you have to just figure out, you know, what's good for you. And what's good for you is and what's good for them. So it's it's uh it's a two-way street on that. So anyway, um that's about it. Um I do have a few more stuff, but I mean I'm gonna go uh into it in a future video. But um definitely um when you start out with a small business, uh, you just gotta be persistent, patient, and don't give up. Because it's it's gonna be a long road. It's gonna be a, a big climb of the mountain, and you're not gonna see the top for, for a long time. But once you get to that top, that's when you'll succeed. And you'll get there. It just takes time and patience. Thank you again for uh, coming to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Uh, I appreciate um, everyone that's uh, here to listen. Um, please leave a comment and let's grow together. This is the year and the next year be another year, but this is the year. Let's make it happen. Thank you, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.